Okay, what's up guys, Robot here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a 2D vector or text from Photoshop into a 3D image using Cinema 4D. So basically you want to open your vector, or your uh, image, and then to make it 3D, basically you want to hold down Control or Command for Mac, and then just click on the icon in the layer palettes. So it should make a uh, selection around your text, and if you hide it I think you can still see the selection a bit more clearly. And then, but you don't want to hide it. And then go into paths, and you should see in the top right hand corner there should be a little drop down box. So if you click on that, it should give you the option to make work path. So if you click on make work path and set the tolerance anywhere from 0 0.5 to 1 pixels, then you should be alright. And this little work path icon should pop up here. Okay, so when you're here, you want to go to file, export, paths to illustrator and then save it somewhere where you can easily get to it. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop as paths. And then go into Cinema 4D, and you should see it here if you saved it on your desktop. Um, then you want to go into Cinema 4D and open what you've just saved. So I've saved it as paths, so I'll open that. And you've got two options here. If you make, if you, if it is text, sorry, I can't get my words right, or a vector, and you want to make every single little bit editable, so like every letter, then you just want to drag all of these paths out of the main section, and then I think you can delete the main section. Yeah, so that should be fine. So now, if you've got a lot of paths, you want to add a lot of extrude nerves. So I've got six paths here, so I'm going to add six extrude nerves, which is kind of a waste of time, but. And then you want to make every single path a child of different extrude nerves. Okay, so when you when you've done all of that, um, every single letter should be individually editable. Um, so if you click on rotate, and then I can rotate this little bit in the corner, or I can click on path one, which is the main thing, and rotate the main thing. But it won't rotate the rest of it if that makes sense. So if we go back to the beginning where I said you've got two options. Um, right here so they're all children of the path now if you want to make the whole thing 3d with no you can only edit the main thing then you want to select every single path by holding down shift and clicking from the last one to the first one and then right click and click connect okay and then it should make a new path above the main thing so you, now you can delete the original files and you should have one path left which is the whole thing so then if you add an extrude nerves and make the path one child of the extrude nerves, it should make it 3D. If it doesn't make it 3D, click on extrude nerves. Oh no, where is it? Um, yeah, if it doesn't make it 3D, click on the path and then click object and make sure close spine is checked. If, it, if it's not checked, it will look a bit like that, which you don't really want. But if it's close spine, then it should like expand the whole thing. So that's pretty much it. It doesn't look very basic, but um, materials and caps and stuff will make it look a bit better. Render settings would help as well. So that's how to make something 2D to 3D. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if it helped you out, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you later, guys.